Hey guys, quick update for you. We've been crazy busy around the shop working on projects nonstop. But we've got some great news for you. We're bringing on a full-time video editor, which means I'm not gonna have to edit videos anymore, which means more time for projects. This might mean we'll be able to do more videos in the future, but we can't promise anything just yet. Anyways, right now we're uh, trying to finish up the Attack on Titan test video, which should be out about this Friday. Oh. Once that video's out, it's back full steam ahead on the Iron Man flight project using the electric ducted fans. And I am so excited for this project. I'm gonna fly. Mark my words. We've noticed a few comments recently complaining about sponsored videos. And I'd just like to kind of set this clear. Right now, we don't make a profit from YouTube. Our channel isn't big enough yet. And remember, I quit my full-time engineering job about half a year ago now withdrew my retirement savings, and I've personally invested tens of thousands of dollars into the shop, my tools, supplies, and this YouTube channel. It's pretty much my life. And because of the nature of this channel, where we actually do real projects, real big engineering projects, the cost of doing these videos is huge. On average, I'd say one video or project can cost anywhere from hundreds to thousands of dollars. And unfortunately, the channel, like I said, isn't big enough and we're not making enough money from the ad revenue to even begin to cover the costs. So when we do a sponsored video, that sponsor is actually paying for the supplies and the tools used for the video, and sometimes a bit extra to cover some of the overhead costs. But we're certainly not making a profit. We haven't even paid ourselves yet. And my savings are running pretty low for my house expenses. YouTube ads pay a fraction of a cent per view. So the question you have to ask yourself is, would you rather watch a 30 second unrelated ad before my video, knowing it almost does nothing for the channel? Or would you rather hear me talk about something for 20 to 30 seconds, knowing that that sponsor, that advertisement I'm talking about, actually paid for the video. They paid for the supplies, the tools, and it allows us to keep going and doing bigger projects like this. I think the choice is pretty clear. And don't get me wrong, I'd love to not have to do sponsored videos, but until our channel is much, much bigger, like millions of subscribers and millions of views per day, it's just not going to happen. But remember, the bigger this channel gets, the better the projects we'll be able to do. Imagine if this channel was the size of PewDiePie, who probably makes like a million dollars a month off ad revenue. We'd already be flying by now, and we'd be halfway to creating a real Iron Man suit. So... More views, more subscribers, more sponsored content. Those are just good things for the channel because it means we're gonna be able to grow, increase our engineering skill, and be able to do cooler and even better projects. In other news, I'm gonna be giving a TEDx talk next month. Now this is really cool. I actually set a personal goal of mine a few years ago to give a TED talk. I just didn't think it would be this soon or at the biggest TEDx event in the USA. TEDx Kansas City is the biggest TEDx event in the USA and one of the biggest in the world. There's over 3,000 attendees and it's sold out in five minutes flat. I'm getting a bit nervous, but I'm super excited to be able to do this. And the theme of the talks this year is question everything. So I'm gonna be talking about blurring the line between science fiction and reality. Take a look at this quick promo clip. When you remove the fear of failure, impossible things suddenly become possible. What else? Oh, another update. Um, we know our audio game hasn't been the greatest for these videos, so we've actually invested in a Sennheiser wireless lapel mic. Ta-da! So hopefully this will help. We're still learning how to use it, but we're working on increasing our production quality of our videos, and I hope you guys have noticed um, if you guys have any tips or tricks, let us know. And if you're interested in the production process for us making these videos, let us know in the comments and we might do a vlog in the future explaining what camera we use and how we actually produce these videos. Finally, in our last video, we mentioned that we got a PCNC 440 milling machine from Tormach. And we wanted to just show you a quick little montage of when we set it up and our first part. You've already seen it in the last Attack on Titan video where we were able to make the sword mechanism. But basically this machine is gonna allow us to do better projects that we never even thought were possible. Check it out. All right, let's open this thing. Yeah, that's not. <laughs> <laughs> Just like Ikea. <laughs> very, very expensive idea. Yeah. 
The addition of a CNC milling machine to our shop is going to open up new possibilities for our projects and what we can actually make here. We're able to make complicated metal parts that you just can't do on a 3D printer. Stuff that's going to allow us to do even better projects. Stuff like Batman's grappling hook gun this time, maybe even Spider-Man's web shooters, functional parts for the exoskeleton, and of course parts for the Iron Man flight system. Basically, having the CNC machine is going to allow our channel to grow bigger than it ever has been before, and we're super grateful for Tarmac for sponsoring the machine to us. Well, that's about it for this update. If you guys have any other questions, please leave them in the comments below and we'll try and get back to you next vlog update. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video.